Today we're going to go over some quick um, processing. So I'm going to have it on auto planning. We're going to see how long this engraving we have it on the center here. Um, we're going to see how long it takes to engrave on the stock settings and XCS. And it takes 25 minutes. So let's go ahead and do a preview on how it processes. As you can see it always goes across here in the center and leaves a lot of dead space. Um, every time it's coming back and forth we just have tons of wasted time. So like I said we had a total of, what was it, 2536. Let's back up out of here. I can explain this uh, further on another video or later in the video how I do this, how I split this. Alright, so what I did is I went ahead and made a copy of um, basically split the circle in half and then made a copy, flipped it, put them together. Um, so I can show you how to do that later on, but we really want to see the time saved right now. So we're going to switch from auto planning to user defining. Um, and that's all we're going to do. As you can see here, we're still on the same settings as the other one. Go to process. And let's see our time. It's cut down to 9 minutes and 37 seconds. So it's going to do the one half, come all the way around, come back up, and do the other half. So like I said, um, 9 minutes and 37 seconds. And just so you know that they're both the same size, we can go up here, look up in the corner. It's 6.37 inches. And let's go ahead and grab this one back down here. Verify it's the same settings. And you see it's 3150. 3150 100 not everything else is the same we go to process and there we go 25 minutes so you're saving yourself goodness what is that uh, from nine just under 10 minutes so you're saving yourself about 15 16 minutes um, we could get exact numbers there but that's that's quite a bit of time so let's go to a real wor world application here let me switch it back to auto planning um, like it would be normally so we have a, a family monogram here and it is 8.39 inches go to process and it takes 40 minutes flat it's a long time alright so we got 40 minutes there on this one up here you can see that I have I have split it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to process this. Whoops. Process this with user defining one by one. Go back to process. Hold on. Sorry. Just showing you to verify that we have the same settings as the other one. Um, go to process. Just so you guys don't think I'm trying to cheat you here. Alright, so we're at 28 minutes and 39 seconds. So we went from 40 minutes flat to 29, 29 minutes. That's pretty good. That's savings of 11 minutes there. So time is money when you're doing your engravings. Um, these are just little tricks um, that you can do. Um, now I'm going to real quick show you how to split the circle. Um, we're going to go ahead and go to edit and I grab my scissor tool up here on the top bar and you gotta have the bottom uh, the bottom scissor the bottom bar on the scissor over the object to be deleted the vector, the line, whatever you want to call it and go and click done and we have a half a circle now I'm going to just press control C on my keyboard like I said you can go ahead and right click and copy and then right click and paste if you want to for me, it's just easier to just highlight it, press Control C, and then Control V. I'm just keeping my pinky on Control and then moving it to the V. Um, come up here and click this one right here, reflect it horizontally. Now lining these up until we get a uh, snap to grid. Um, it's, it, it does an alright job sometimes. You can get it in there and just kind of make sure it's it works out. Um, See, it's not perfect. If it was perfect, it would be 3.65 and 3.65, but we're just we're just off a little bit. So 
that's good enough. Um, sometimes I like to just go line the top, but when you go in here and you process it and make sure that it's user defining one by one, you're going to get the same same results. It's going to process half and half. Now to come up here and do the same thing to this monogram, it is a little bit different process. Um, say I made the monogram itself is 8.319 inches. I made the box um, the same, a little bit taller, and I made it uh, half of the actual width of the monogram, and then just clicked a line to the left. Here I'll show you. So here we go. We have it. It's half of this. 8.319 which is 4.195 is half um, now we're going to go ahead and align to left and that makes everything as long as we're see we're a little bit too high on this side and if you just highlight it and then push the arrow key down until you have an overlap of everything that's where you want it so now highlight everything again and on one we're going to let's see we're going to unite at overlap and that's going to delete the right side on this one we're going to subtract and that's going to delete the left side now again come in here use zoom as your friends and line it up best you can we don't have the nodes snap nodes so it can be a little tricky let it go it's pretty close as you can see it's not quite perfect um, you can try to get it the best you can but don't drive yourself crazy here um, one thing that you can do to kind of make that a little bit better is like I said come over here to align and then just align top um, I made it worse we're just gonna do control Z and we'll just leave it like that so then you would uh, bring your text over here, control V, CV, sorry, and then just align that inside there, bring that over to the canvas, um, so you go from, from here to here. So go from being solid to split, so that way we can increase our, our, our decrease, I should say, our processing time. Um, I hope this video helps you guys. If you guys have any questions or need any further help, um, again, up here, let me back it up. Again, for the left side, to get rid of the right side, we're going to come up here and unite at overlap. And then again, down here, we're going to subtract. So I just want to reiterate that so that way if you guys lost that or it was too a little bit too fast, um, again, hit the replay button, hit the like button if this thing helped you guys. Um, I'm here to help. If you guys ever have any questions, just feel free to reach out. I, re I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you.